this is Ogre Boy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 2017 movie Star Wars The Last Jedi. Um, the movie uh, picks up pretty much where The Force Awakens left off. Um, the Resistance is having to flee from their base and everything because the uh, First Order has tracked them down and is uh, trying to destroy them and everything. And, they uh, get away by light speed and everything, but they still ended up being tracked by the First Order and they're trying to get away from them and, uh, but they can't, you, if they go by light speed again, they'll run out of fuel and everything, so they're trying to figure out how to get away and everything without, uh, without uh, using the light speed and stuff, and there's also another story in the movie where Rey is trying to get Luke Skywalker to return and help the Resistance, and uh, he, he agree, ends up agreeing to train her in this movie, and, uh, and they do their, their training and stuff. We also learn a little bit more of the story between Luke and Kylo Ren and why Kylo Ren turned to the dark side and stuff which I thought was really interesting and um, then there's a side plot where uh, Finn and Rose or this new character named Rose they're uh, going to Canto Bite to get this code breaker to help them uh, uh, to help them uh, stop the tracking on the ships and stuff so that the the resistance can escape and everything in that the the uh, code breaker they find is played by Benicio del Toro and I think he does a really good job. Um, there's also a, a side plot with uh, new, another new character named Admiral Holdo who uh, is kind of taking over the leader of the resistance because uh, Leia is in a coma after the some of the First Order members had destroyed the part of the ship she was on and she was floating into space and everything. She used the Force to go back onto the ship and was pretty much in a coma after that and uh, Admiral Holdo was plan uh, planning to keep going the way they're going and uh, Poe doesn't like it and he thinks that they should find some other way and he kind of like to, tries to do a, a mutiny and everything, and, uh, but we find out that Holdo really is doing good and everything. Like the movie tries to make you think that that she's not really a good character and everything, but I, I think that that worked pretty well. Um, they made her uh, made her more likable before her, and she got a really good ending to her story arc too. Um, but, uh, and also when Ray's on the island with Luke, she's having th this connection with Kylo Ren where she uh, can talk to him and stuff and they kind of talk throughout this movie and everything and, uh, I, and somewhat of a friendship I guess, I mean, it, they're kind of friends but they're also not at the same time, it's kind of weird. but. Uh, I'm hoping that by the end of the next movie they'll be in love and everything. Uh, and yes, I am a Raylo supporter. Um, but I, I won't get too much into that because I know a lot of people don't like hearing about Raylo. But, so I'll just leave that there. Um, but, uh, I, I really do love this movie. I think, I think it's a really great Star Wars movie. I like that it is it takes a lot of risks and everything and uh, I think that really makes this movie so good to me. Uh, I know everybody complained about The Force Awakens playing it too safe and everything and that, uh, then you get a movie like this where they actually do what the fans had wanted, something new, something you wouldn't expect and everything and then you're going to complain about that too. Uh, I don't get what 
I don't really get it. Um, get the hate on this movie and everything. I absolutely love the, Fo the Force Awakens and everything, and I understand the too safe stuff and everything because it, it is a lot like A New Hope, but at the same time, it is also a really fun movie, so it doesn't really phase me or anything. And I really love this movie. I, I, I don't get why it gets as much hate as it does. Um, I like the character arcs for most of the characters, especially Poe and uh, Finn. I like both of their their character arcs quite a bit. And uh, I like that Rey is struggling with the dark side and, st and stuff like, like you would expect and everything. I love that about it. And I think Kylo Ren's story is really interesting too. And I like that he kills Snoke and everything. It took a totally unexpected turn there. Everything I know, a lot of people complain that he was underdeveloped and stuff like that. But it, if you look at the original trilogy, nobody knew anything about the Emperor or anything like that. I mean, we didn't know anything about him until the prequel trilogy. And and nobody complained about that. I just, they, uh, I, I like having mystery about some characters, you know? Some characters you don't really need to know everything about them and everything. That, I think that's one of the things about Snoke that I liked is you don't really know much about his story and all that. Um, but all, all of the cast in here is great. Daisy Riley, Adam Driver, and uh, Oscar Isaac and John Boyega are all great as once again as uh, Ray, Kylo Ren, Poe, and Finn. They're they're all really great as them. Um, Kelly Marie Tran is a really uh, good addition as uh, the new character um, uh, Rose. I, I know a lot of people don't like Rose, but I, I actually think she's really good. Uh, she's one of the characters I really liked in this movie. She She's not annoying at all to me like most people say she is. I, I don't get get why they think she's so annoying and everything. But um, I think that Carrie Fisher is great as Leia. Again, this unfortunately was the last performance she did before she passed away as Leia. And I thought she was great in here. And... Uh, I think Mark Hamill gave probably the best performance I think I've ever seen of his um, in a live action movie. I thought he was just absolutely great as Luke. And I loved him in the original trilogy, but it's like his acting is even better in this one. And I, I thought he was great. Um, I like the, the turn that they took with Luke too. Um, I know a lot of people said it was against his character and stuff and everything, but uh, if you watch the movie, yeah, he did almost kill his nephew because he sensed the dark in him. And I can somewhat agree that, yeah, maybe that's not something that Luke really would have done. But then again, if you look at the past of the Jedi and stuff, they would have done that and everything. And, uh, and I'm like him going into hiding and stuff after he failed is... It's pretty much a normal thing for the Jedi. I mean, Yoda and Obi-Wan both went into hiding after the events of Revenge of the Sith and everything because of their failures. So that, that's kind of a... That's one of the things about it that I liked. And I liked that it kind of brought a humanity to him and everything. Um, the only thing about this movie that I don't like is some of the humor... There's some humor in this movie, and it kind of feels forced. Um, no pun intended. Uh, but, like, like there, some of the jokes and stuff in this movie just don't land and everything, and don't feel like they fit in a Star Wars movie, but for the most part, it doesn't bother me. Um, and everything. I know one scene that got a lot of people that grossed out when we saw the the saw when I saw it in the theater that people were going, you stuff was when uh when Luke was squeezing on that that uh sea sea alien titties and drinking the 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 titty juice from 
and, and everything. And, and I thought that it was kind of amusing and everything. It was also gross because, like, you see the milk going in his beard and stuff. It was kind of nasty. But it was also amusing. Yeah, uh, once again, the special effects in here are amazing, like you would expect from Star Wars. And the, uh, the cinematography, I think, is best in this movie than it is better in this movie than it is any of the previous Star Wars movies. It just has some extremely beautiful and amazing special effects, especially in the third act. And everything else. that's another thing that I know a lot of people don't like is the force projection thing um, in a way I think that it makes sense why he did it because I mean he couldn't have gone and uh, faced off against the first order by himself and cause a diversion so they could get away and everything and, uh, and also I don't think that he would have really had time or a way to get there, get there in time by flying and everything. Since the Millennium, since Rain had left in the Millennium Falcon, I know there was a X-wing under the water and stuff, but I don't think that he could have flown it and got it out of the water and flown it in time. And everything, especially since he had cut himself off from the Force for so long, that that might have been hard for him to be able to do and everything. But uh, I do really like how we was handled in this movie. I know a lot of people don't, but I really like it. And part of it is because of Mark Hamill's performance. I love that the humanity and stuff that he brings to him. Like, he made a really bad mistake that uh, affected everybody, and he, he doesn't, he feels really bad about it and stuff. And, like, his performance is just really, really good and everything. And I think Adam Driver is great as Kylo Ren again. Um, and everything out. He's another one of the characters that I really like. Uh, he's really intriguing and everything. Um, and the stuff with him and Ray I love and everything. Uh, of course, yeah, I'm, I'm a Ray Lou shipper. Uh, I'd love to see them two end up together and everything, unless they end up being related and if they, unless they uh, make it where they're related in the la in the next movie. But uh, until then, I'm a Ray Lou shipper. Um, but, yeah, so, I, I think The Last Jedi is easily one of the best Star Wars movies. It's probably my favorite one that's came out uh, since Disney started doing these Star Wars movies and everything. It's just a really great movie. So, let me know in the comments what you think of Star Wars The Last Jedi. And, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I, I'd give this one a, a 9.5 out Or, no, actually, uh, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. So I just really love this movie. I think it's a really great movie and everything. So, uh, yeah. That's my review for The Last Jedi. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of this movie. And uh, I hope you enjoy this video. And have a good day, everybody. And may the Force be with you.